Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Rami here with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Monday, August 31st. Let's start this week with some good news about the stimulus check. We have some good news from the Republican side, from the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, and some interesting comments from Mark Meadows about negotiations. Are they willing to go higher than $1.3 trillion? And we'll also quickly go over the payroll tax cuts that should go in effect starting tomorrow. This will give you some extra money until the end of the year. So let's get to all the details right after you please hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can update you on everything regarding the second stimulus package, the second stimulus check, and more money and finance news. So Mitch McConnell said some very promising things regarding the next stimulus package and specifically the second stimulus check too. He said that Republicans stand ready to deliver, help Americans during the pandemic, Pandemic, and he still hopes there will be a new package and agreed there should be another $1,200 stimulus check sent to Americans in need. This is great. He said in a tweet to my Democratic colleagues, the virus doesn't have a stake in this election. Struggling families across America need our help and Republicans stand and ready to deliver. It's crazy how much the Republicans changed their stance on a second stimulus package. We were talking a month or two before about this and they were completely against it. And now it sounds like they're pushing for a stimulus package and a stimulus check every day. But you know what the problem is? So far it has been all talk, just talk. This whole time we've been waiting for them to take action. They took two vacations, one for like two weeks around 4th of July and a whole month now vacation since beginning of August. It's time now to finally put all that talk into action and actually deliver a bill on the Senate floor and vote on it. Would be nice though if it was a pre-negotiated bill that the Democrats in the House can vote on it and have the President finally sign it. No point now to pass something that only Republicans like and we get another passed bill that goes nowhere like the HEROES Act. Now speaking of negotiations, Mark Meadows was on an interview on NBC yesterday and was asked towards the very end, the Democrats said they're willing to meet you at the middle around the $2 trillion number. Are you willing to bring up the number that the president will support? Remember on Friday or Saturday, we just found out that Mark Meadows came out and said the president is willing to sign a $1.3 trillion bill. So now we're trying to see if they'll go higher to the $2 trillion number to meet the Democrats. Then Mark Meadows answered saying, well, we brought up the number and I had a conversation with Speaker Pelosi and even on her $2 trillion counter offer, she can't tell the American people nor me what is in that. But I can tell you what is in the offer the president has made and he's willing to sign. Enhanced unemployment at levels she would agree with enhanced help for small businesses at levels that she would agree with, help for daycare and hospitals at levels that she would agree with, and help for schools at levels that she would agree with. Here's the problem. She puts forth a number, suggested that she come down, and yet she's willing to turn down $1.3 trillion of help that goes to the American people. She would rather them have nothing than to give way on what her fantasy objection might be. Then the reporter asked something interesting. Would that even pass in the Senate? Because we know a lot of Republican senators are not huge fans of a stimulus package, much less a large one. Then Mark Meadows answered saying it will pass the Senate, but that would require Senator Schumer. And he said that if the Speaker Nancy Pelosi talks to Senator Schumer, all these things will be available to the American people, but Pelosi is saying no. Then the reporter didn't stop there. He asked if Mark Meadows would bring up his number. Then of course Mark Meadows said, we're not going to negotiate here. So it wasn't a no. This week is going to be a big week for stimulus talks right before the Senate comes back on September 8th. And they have a lot of other things to discuss like government funding. And if they don't agree on that by the end of September, we would see another government shutdown, which is, which is not good at all and that we definitely don't want that to happen because that would cause even more furloughs. I can't believe September is tomorrow already. Also, tomorrow is supposed to be the day the President Trump's payroll tax holiday goes into effect. So if you're currently working and making less than $4,000 every two weeks, 
you should start seeing your take home paycheck larger by 6.2%. Now, the problem with that is that many businesses don't want to implement this because it is basically just a deferral and not forgiven money. So whatever extra money you take home from now until the end of the year, you would have to actually pay it back. But President Trump said that if he gets reelected, he'll find a way to make this money forgiven forever. But still, many businesses are not buying this and I don't blame them because they don't want to give their employees a surprise tax bill in January because the business ultimately have to deduct all that money from your paycheck to pay it back to the government if it's not forgiven. So we'll see which businesses start implementing that tax cut and if there are new details to come out on it saying whether it will be definitely forgiven or not. That's all I have for you today in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos for you. And make sure to check the link in the description for the SoFi Money account, which is a checking slash savings account, not an investment account. It's not for stocks or anything like that. If you open an account using the link below and deposit $500, you'll get a $50 bonus. Then you can refer your family and friends and get $50 from every referral up to $10,000 per year. So that's a good way to make a few hundred dollars right there. The account has no fees, no minimum fees, no overdraft fees, and no ATM fees at over 55,000 ATMs around the world. Also, don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and two free stocks from Webull with one of them potentially worth up to $1,400 when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. This promotion ends today. Links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.